Hello there, this is an updated version of my micro tutorial about how you add a uh, streaming audio file to your playlists permanently like in the case of um, uh, internet radio stations that you love listening to for example. Um, since Apple decided to make over the entire uh, user interface for iTunes 11, some of us um, had a hard time finding their way around the new interface including me and uh, which is also the reason why some people asked me about updating my tutorial and showing how it works in iTunes 11. So here goes. Um, like before, we find um, an item, menu item in the file menu and the submenu item which we need for this case is um, called OpenStream. Command U, you click on it and the next window you enter the URL to any um, audio streaming file that you want to add to your playlist. In my case here, this is the result of a little research I just did on the internet and uh, it will have nothing but a, a sound of crickets at a certain speed here. But for demonstration purposes this will do. So let's click OK. Yeah, this was crickets. <laughs> so now where's the file? How can I edit? Well, um, in the new interface um, what we need to find are um, the so-called smart playlists and they are um, marked by this cogwheel icon to the left and there are two um, previously I mean automatically generated uh, playlists one is called recently added one is called recently played and both work well for our demonstration purposes here let's click on recently added and the last item in the list is the one I just opened via streaming URL. This little cricket sound. Let's play it again. Yep, that's the one. So now I could just, you know, hold the left mouse button down or um, tap on, on the trackpad and uh, drag it over to one of the playlists on the left. If I point towards the bottom, the list starts scrolling. I can find a list further down if that is my requirement. Um, or the other alternative way is to right click on this item it opens a context menu which has a sub item called add to playlist and the playlists appear to the right here and I get to scroll and select one of the playlists so let's choose one in my case web radio is one of the um, playlists I keep my streaming files in and uh, click on it and it should now have added the last played streaming file to this list. So let's check it out and see whether it did. We need to find a playlist called Web Radio. Here it is. And here is my streaming file. And it's now saved permanently to this particular playlist in my iTunes library. And every time I click on this item it will open this particular file for as long as it resides on the internet. The same would work for any of the radio stations you see appearing in this list. These are, um, you know, some I found um, in the radio section of iTunes 11 and just organized them in a new, into a new playlist so I have easier and faster access to them. Alrighty, that's it. Hope it worked. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.